So welcome to one of our 45 minute full out body stretches. Um, as a cyclist, it's super important that we take this time to stretch our body um, so that we can get on that bike again and ride stronger and better each time. Um, Stretching is kind of the thing that everyone pushes to the side, but it's super important. So this video is great if you want to do it at home anytime. Make sure you carve out the space and throw it in um, whenever you can throughout your week as much as you like. We're going to start off our practice in wide knees child's pose. So sitting up on your heels if you can. And let's start off by just placing our forehead onto our fist. This is a nice way to just calm the mind and relax the body. And centering the forehead into the mat. And we're just taking a few moments here just to kind of let our hips soften. Let our jaw relax. Let our mind come down to a focus point. And throughout our stretch today, you can take deep inhales through the nose and deep exhales through the mouth. And this breath, this breath is going to allow you to create not only space in your body, but your mind. Again, take a nice deep breath, inhale through the nose and deep exhale through the mouth. Let's place our palms out in front of us onto the mat. Pressing your chest towards the mat. Thinking about pressing your hands down and pulling through your armpits, your side bodies as you rock side to side. Getting a nice stretch and massage of your hair flexors. And then slowly bringing your hands closer towards your knees. We're gonna come up to all fours. So knees, hip width apart, shoulders, wrists, and elbows underneath each other. And we're gonna start off just flexing the spine, creating some movement. So rounding through the upper back, pulling your scapula apart, letting your chin drop to your chest. And then belly button drops, eyes lift, letting your belly flop. Again, inhaling, rounding through the upper back, pulling through those scapula muscles and bones. And belly drops, eyes flop. So at our own time, let's move through a few of these together. If it feels good at the top, you can kind of move side to side, getting a little bit more space in the upper back, coming back to center, belly drops, eyes lift. Inhaling, rounding through the spine, pelvis tuck, spine rounds. And exhale, belly drops, eyes lift. One last one. Coming to a neutral spine, we're going to stretch out our calves. So let's take one foot back off the mat, really giving that heel a good press towards the back of the room. And coming back to center, other side. So 
let's tuck both of our toes, press through your palms. We're gonna lift our knees an inch above the mat, taking our hips up and back in the downward facing dog. So spreading your hands nice and wide and cuddling your heels out, getting another good stretch through your hamstrings and your calves, letting your head hang and dangle. We're gonna create a little bit of movement first. So we'll inhale forward to plank, exhale downward facing dog, drop your heels towards the mat. Inhale plank, exhale downward dog, drop both heels towards the mat. Let's bend our right knee and press our left heel down. Really focusing on our left calf, maybe into our Achilles. And then if you straighten your leg into the back of the knee. Take a nice deep inhale and as you exhale, switch right leg. So right heel down, bending the knee slightly into the back of the right calf, the Achilles, straightening the knee if you like, up higher into the back of the knee. Come up onto both toes as you press both heels down. Pressing your chest towards your thighs, sit bones to the ceiling. Taking a nice deep breath, inhale and exhale. Good, from here, let's slowly, if you can, walk your feet up to your hands, slowly. Still bending over, bending your knees, feet hip width apart. We're gonna grab onto each opposite elbow and just hang here. And rock side to side. Relaxing your jaw, place your hands on your shins. We're gonna inhale, halfway lift, straightening our knees to get a nice stretch to the hamstrings. And then lower, falling forward, letting your head hang, arms hang. Inhale, halfway lift. Spine nice and long, jaw relaxed. Exhale, forward. One last one, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bending your knees, relaxing your shoulders. I want you to slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, all the way up to stand. And come into standing. So IT man, hips. Let's take our right leg crossed over top of the left. We're gonna weight this back hip, this back leg, and slowly lower ourselves down on a little bit of an angle. So a lot of my weight is in my back left leg. I'm getting a nice stretch through my left hip, glute, IT band. And to feel it a little, little bit more, I'm going to walk my hands over to the side. I'm letting the leg hang, head hang. And if your hands cannot reach the ground, you might want to just rest your hands on your thigh, pushing your hip over to the side, still really weighting this foot and getting a nice good stretch through your hip. So the goal is not necessarily to reach the ground, but to get a nice good stretch through the hip and side body. Just depending on where you're at. The more time you spend stretching, the more improvements you'll see. Let's hold it here together, taking a nice deep breath, inhaling through the nose. Deep exhale through the mouth. walking back to center, hands on your hips, slowly coming up. And we'll do that exact same thing on the other side. So I want to weight this leg nice and strong, 
crossing my other leg over front, pushing my hip out to the side and slowly going to lean forward off to the side. Fingers wherever you can, either on the ground or holding on your thigh. Just take your time to really give that hip and IT band a good stretch. I'm an avid cyclist, runner. Definitely, this is one stretch I definitely would recommend. Take a nice deep breath, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, really weighting this back foot. This other foot is just here for balance. We want to really weight that back foot. You'll feel it. Again, taking a nice deep breath. Inhale through the nose. Big exhale, getting the muscles to relax. Walking your hands back to center. And placing your hands on your hips and slowly coming up to standing position. Great. Let's also do a little bit more of the side body. So big toes together to touch. Take our arms up to the ceiling, clasp our fingers together, releasing your pointer finger. Lifting the body as high as you can, thinking about creating space from your hip flexor your rib cage without letting the hips and ribs pop. Let's keep our ribs in alignment with our hips and lift up to the ceiling. From here, let's take a nice deep lift, knees together, core strong, and drop to one side. Really opening up through the right hip, right side body. Inhale coming out and exhale, moving back into the stretch. We're gonna do this a few times, just kind of weaving in and out of the stretch. Inhaling, coming up. Good, and exhale, moving in. And one last time, inhale, coming up. And exhale, you can hold here. So really thinking about this long chain, this long side of the body, this C shape. If you'd like to, you can release your hand, reaching down to your knee, eyes to the ceiling, looking up, opening up from the right side body. Take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, arms by your side. And we'll do the exact same thing, other side. Inhale, arms up. Clasping your fingers together, lifting up through the ribs, pulling your hips back, and dropping over to the right side. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, dropping in. Inhale, coming up. And exhale. And again, creating this nice long C-shaped arch to the left side of the body. Right hand can come down, really opening up. Take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, come back to center, arms by your side. We'll just give our shoulders a little bit of a stretch out, swinging them back and forth, crossing one arm over the other, a little bit of movement. I'm going to turn to the side just to show you this one. So my feet, it's almost as if they're in ski tracks or in each uh, bike pedal, hip width apart. I'm going to turn my right toes out to the side, keeping my left toes straight. And I'm going to slowly start to fold forward, getting a nice stretch. Now you can bend through the left knee and just letting your body fall forward. If your hands, again, can't reach the ground, this is great, you can hold here. Just keep this hip nice and flat. 
Kind of maintain this nice low back. Relaxing through the jaw, using your breath, inhaling. Exhaling as the inhale strikes release. Inhaling. And exhaling as the hamstrings release. You can grab onto your ankle, you can reach for the floor. Wherever you are, know that your breath and doing this video more and more will help you get more flexible. straight, bending your knees slightly with the flat back slowly forward fold. Hands on the hips if that's where it's right for you. The shin, the ankle, or the floor. You can use those different levels as markers to your improvements. Relax the jaw, let your head hang. Taking a nice deep breath, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Inhaling through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Place your hands on your hips and back up to standing position. Okay. Let's just place our hands as if we had pockets in our back. And we're just going to do a little bit of a chest opener just to release the front body. So you can kind of press into your hips, open up your back, your chest open. We spend a lot of the time in our saddle leaning forward. So let's really focus on pressing your hips forward and kind of opening up. Good, from here, we're gonna place our big toes together. We're gonna to make our way onto the ground. So let's come up onto our toes and kind of crouch down if we can, so fingertips on the mat. And I'll show you from the side. We're gonna take our knees open nice and wide, really getting into our sacrum and, and low back and pelvis and hips. So toes are together, knees are open, and I'm just gonna kinda crouch here and kinda open up through my back and my groin. Depending on your flexibility, you can walk your fingertips in front of you, or maybe you're just holding here. That's great, either way. Slowly, with time, your muscles will release. So pressing into your toes, hips back. Let's take a nice deep breath. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. the ground and sit back on your heels. We're going to uncrease our toes, getting a good stretch to the top of our foot. Think about when we're riding, we don't get in this position very often and the top of our foot can become very tight. So even just sitting like this might be difficult. So if this saddle position is too much for you to go lean back, you can stay here and just relax, giving those quads a good stretch in the tops of your feet. If you'd like to go back a little bit further, you can start by just placing your hands behind you and all we're gonna do is just kind of lift our hips, trying to keep your knees straight, getting a good stretch through 
the knee and the quad where the attachment is outside of the quads. So chest opens and you can kind of come in and out of this as often as you like. It's super intense, especially if you've done a lot of riding. So hips forward, lift. Drop down at any point it becomes too much. You can kind of move between giving the legs a little stretch out and sitting back, leaning back getting a good stretch through the tops of the quads and the attachment where the patella is. Come out of it. Now if you're looking for more of a static hold and have been working on this for a while and you're a little bit more flexible, you can take your feet a little bit hip width apart and kind of sit here and, and hang out until those hips drop a little bit. Those of you that want to try to go a little bit further back, you can lean back, you can use a block, you can use a roller, and you can hold this nice good quad stretch here, relaxing the jaw, remember. Breathing, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Remember, you can come in and out of this as you please. We'll slowly make our way up. Coming on to all fours and just giving those legs a little shake out. So I'm sure you have heard about this position before, but it's called pigeon. It's really great for our glutes, really great for our low back, our groin, the sides of our knee. If you don't want to do pigeon, you can come onto your back and you can lie on your back, crossing one leg over the other, reaching through and holding this position. Otherwise, let's work on getting a little bit more flexible in our hips and glutes with holding this position. So we're going to start off. Our main goal is to have one leg in front of the other and to keep it as equal as we can. So our right leg will come back with our toes untucked. Our right hip flexor is going to get a beautiful stretch. We're going to keep our hands in front of us, keeping us lifted first before we drop into the position. And this front leg, we want to try to create an equal straight 90 degree angle if we can. So if we stay elevated first to actually let the hips drop, we'll get a better stretch than to just falling right forward into it. So let's use our fingers as tripods and let's hold ourselves up and just really starting to use your breath to drop into that space of opening up through the hip flexor and the glute. So we'll stay here for a few breaths, inhaling through the nose as I lift through the body and exhale dropping, letting my hips lower. And I'm going to be feeling this stretch on my left side of my body, my left glute, my left hip, left groin. I will feel it a little bit in my right hip flexor, but the main focus is the left side of the body. And then slowly you can lower yourself down, bring your elbows down to the mat. I personally like to stack my fists and let my forehead relax here so that my muscles can relax. And we're going to hang out here for a few moments together. So just find your breath and enjoy this stretch. It's probably one of the best things we can also do for ourselves after riding. Just really using your breath again, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. I 
would have to say if there was only one stretch you could pick, it would probably be this one. to bend our back knee, sitting onto our back leg, still maintaining the stretch, but I'm gonna change it a little bit. I'm just gonna hold it here. exact same thing on the other side. So right leg comes to the front, left leg goes back. Those of you that are on your back doing it the other way, you can switch legs. So we're going to keep the left leg nice and straight with our toes untucked. Getting this right leg up in front of us. Hips are squared and elevated so they're both pointing forward. Let's place both hands on the ground. Feeling a nice good stretch through my right groin, right hip, right knee. As long as there's no pain in the knee, you should be good with this one. So doing a few nice breaths in this position, allowing the hips to drop. So inhaling through the nose, exhale, slowly dropping into the stretch before we lean forward. Again, at any time, if this does not feel right, you can come out. Start by staying elevated first. And then when you feel ready, you can slowly lower your elbows down to the ground. Stacking your fists one on top of the other and letting your forehead rest onto your fists. And thinking about this kind of melting action in your hips, so using your breath to inhale. And as you exhale every single little bit of air, see if you can let your hips just completely fall a little bit more. And watch that you're not clenching in your jaw. Really inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. commitment to stretching takes time and when we can feel the benefits and the rewards next time we hop onto our bike when we're a little bit more stretched out that'll create a great routine to want to come back and keep doing it and then just drop off to the right side bend your left knee Placing both elbows onto the ground, and just hold it here. And using your breath, inhaling through the nose. Right. 
Let's slowly come up to seated position. We'll bring both knees into our chest, sitting up nice and tall. So hugging our knees into your chest. Let's take one leg out in front of us. So extending your right leg, left leg pulls in. Flexing your heel towards the other opposite end of the room. Take your left leg, cross it over top of your right. We're gonna hug our knee in, sitting nice and tall. And then from here, I'm gonna place my foot flat on the ground, keeping this arm, hugging my knee in. I'm gonna place my left hand behind me, doing a nice spinal twist to the hips and the back. So I wanna really refrain from bending throughout the spine and lifting, sitting nice and tall, and twisting. go and do the same thing on the other side. So right knee comes in, sitting up nice and tall, crossing my right leg over my left, left arm grabbing onto my knee, right hand, and twist. Using your breath to sit up nice and tall. Take both legs straight. I'm just gonna use the bottoms of our palms just to give our quads a little bit of a massage out, grabbing each side. You can get right into the sides of the knees. It's a little bit softer than rolling your IT band, but massaging it out with the bottom of your palm. Great, let's make our way onto our back. So coming onto your back, we'll take our right knee in, extending your left leg out, plugging your right knee in. Let's create some ankle rotations on the right side, just rotating your ankle around all directions. Okay, we'll take our right leg up to the ceiling, grabbing onto your calf. If you can't reach your calf, you can clasp your hands together, creating kind of a cup in the back of your hamstring. And we're gonna press our right heel to the ceiling. Again, getting a nice stretch deep into that hamstring glute connection. Press your heel to the ceiling as you pull your leg towards your chest. come down. Switching other side, right leg out, left leg bring it in. Hugging your knee in and rotating your ankle around in a few directions. And then take your leg up to the ceiling, grabbing onto your shin, your calf, or the back of your hamstring. Clasp your fingers together, cradle your hands, and press your leg towards your chest and your heel towards the ceiling. both legs release and just kind of windshield wipe or flop your feet side to side. Just allowing your hips to find neutral position. We're going to take our feet nice and flat on the ground and as wide as our mat, let your knees drop in. And 
feet flat together, butterfly your knees open. Getting a nice good stretch through your groin. And using your hands to lift your knees up. We're going to take our feet flat, lift your hips up and over to the right, and drop your knees to the left, keeping them stacked. We'll place our left hand on top of our right thigh and our right hand open, getting a nice right side body stretch, spine stretch. If you'd like, you can extend your right leg to be straight. And think about opposing forces. So I want to extend my right fingers out and my left heel in opposite directions. Taking a nice deep breath, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Good, and bending your knees, coming back to center. Place your feet flat on the ground and lift your knees, or lift your hips up and over to the left as your knees drop to the right. Right hand on left thigh, left hand opening up. Taking a nice deep breath, and as you exhale, twist and lengthen, thinking about opposing forces. Your left leg can straighten if you like. Every inhale you take, exhale a little bit more length and space in the body. back to center. Knees 90 degree. Let's just windshield wiper our knees side to side and massaging our back into the mat. Good, and we'll take our knees into our chest, giving yourself a nice tight, tight, tight squeeze. One last time. lowering your feet to the ground. Let's extend your right leg and your left leg. Let's take your arms overhead. Give your body a nice big stretch in opposite directions. Point your toes, reach in the opposite way. And exhale, let go. One more time. Stretch, point your toes, fingers reach. And exhale. Slowly bring your arms by your side. Rolling onto your right side. Let's just take a moment there. When you're ready, you can slowly come up to see the position. And we'll just do one last stretch for your neck. So dropping your head to one side. Fingers pressing down to the opposite side. to 
center, chin to chest. Pulling your shoulders down. And back to center. Thank you so much. That concludes our 45 minute stretch sequence. I hope you include this into your workouts, into your rides, into your daily routines. Until next time, see you soon.